first thing we're going to do is go into the assignment and let me share my screen with you. All right, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Google Classroom and we're going to uh, download the image that we're using. We're using this butterfly image. Okay. First things first, we go to the top corner to hit those three buttons. Click on open in a new window. What's important about this is you want to download the image and not a thumbnail of that image. Okay? It has to be the resolution of the image that I have sent to you. You're going to hit the download icon right here. It says download. And you'll see that it downloads right here on the bottom left-hand side. Okay. Uh, next step is to have Photoshop open. Okay. Um, you're going to go on the left-hand side. This is the kind of the welcoming screen. Um, you're going to click on open. You're going to go to downloads. And the butterfly will be right there when you hit open. And it will open it in Photoshop for you. Now, what's very important is that we kind of set up our uh, workspace. Okay. We're going to go to the top right hand corner. And we're going to click on uh, Workspace app and we're going to reset our essentials. And what that does is that kind of opens up the layers panel right here. It's important that we see our layers while we're working on our assignments, as most of the work that we do is accomplished in the layers panel here. Okay. Um, so if I can show you what we're going to be doing, go back to this panel here, okay? If you take a look at the assignment, we're going to create a, a four-way mirror image with free transform. And the final assignment will look like this. Okay, so there's the butterfly. And you'll see that it is a reflection to the right and then a reflection underneath. So we're using one image to create this um, repetitive sort of pattern, I guess you could say. So this was what the final product will look like. We'll return back to Photoshop. And first thing that we need to do is we need to look at our layers panel and we need to unlock that layer. And if you look at the layer right here, this is that one layer. This is the canvas. This is the layer. You're going to unlock it. Okay, it's very important that you unlock it because if it's if without it being unlocked, you won't be able to do any type of modifications to this image okay so the first thing we're going to do is transform this image and reduce its size not the size of the canvas but the size of the actual pixel pixels that are located on this uh, in this canvas we're going to go to the menu bar remember the menu bar is way at the top you click on edit scroll down the list to transform and scale and you'll see what happens if these anchor points appear on the exterior of that of that canvas, okay? And what it's saying here is that you can drag the click and drag these points in and out to reduce the size of that image. Now, for it to stay in proportion, you want it to stay, you don't want it to get all wonky, you're gonna hold the shift and you're gonna drag it inward like so. And that image, you're gonna shrink it to about like, a quarter of the page, okay? Now, when you're done sh um, scaling it to the quarter of that page, you're going to want to hit right at the top on that options bar. Remember, all these tools, all these modes have options in the options bar. You're going to either hit the check, which means you want to commit to that transformation, or the no symbol or disregard that transformation, okay? If I disregard that transformation, it will go back to its original size, okay? So what I want to do is I want to make sure that I um, comply right, with that, that transformation, and I'm going to hit that check button. Okay. Now, from here, we can notice that that thumbnail, we have that transparency through that layer. Okay, That layer now has become partially transparent, and that's what that gray and white checkerboard stands means. So we have moved, we have resized, scaled those those pixels, okay? So there's all this space here, and that's the space we're gonna to use to fill in with the other images of those butterflies. And it's very simple, we're gonna duplicate this image, okay? So it's a rule of thumb that anything you need to do to a layer is either located, if you right click the actual layer, notice I'm hovering over the actual layer, not the thumbnail, not the wording, the name of the layer, but right here in this like void area of that layer, you're gonna hit right click okay 
and you'll have all these options for that layer. We're going to duplicate that layer, okay? I'm going to hit duplicate the layer. I'm going to say copy. We're not really interested. We don't really need to rename that layer right now. That's not important. What's important is understanding how to transform these images, how to duplicate these images, okay? And then uh, mirror these images. So flip them vertically or horizontally. That's what we're trying to do. So I'm just going to hit OK. And you can see here now in my layers panel, I have two layers that are available. But unfortunately, I only see one layer here. And it's not that I've made a mistake. It's that Photoshop has uh, duplicated the layer like I told it to, but it duplicated the layer exactly. So that means that the image of that butterfly is actually, if I use that move tool, is actually beneath it. And I can just gently drag that image like that. Okay, now what I want to do from here is I want to mirror this image. So I need to flip one of these. I need to flip them horizontally. Okay, remember horizontally is from left to right, vertically is up and down. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and click on the one that I moved and I'm going to go to edit transform. Okay, and flip horizontally. And then you can see that I have now created that mirror image. Okay, from here it's simple as just duplicating every step from there. You can either merge these layers together and do it, or you can do one by one. I'm gonna do it one by one. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna click on this layer here and I'm gonna duplicate it again, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and right click on that layer and click duplicate layer, hit okay. But at this point, I'm gonna put it in transformation mode, okay? Once I put it in transformation mode, I am going to flip it vertically this time. Okay, and then I'm going to drag that image up like so. And you can see that mirror image that I've created. And then I'm going to do the same thing again for this image on the right here. And I'm going to duplicate that image. Okay, so I'm going to right click the layer, duplicate the layer, hit OK. There we go. And then I'm going to go ahead and put it in transformation mode again. So up to the menu bar, edit, transform, and flip vertically. And you can see that I have created, just go ahead and use that move tool, and I've created that exact mirrored image. Okay. Now, what I want to do is, you see there's a little bit of transparency at the, on the border there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to merge all these layers together. How I do that is... On your laptop, if you're using a PC, you just hit Control. If you're using a Mac, you hit Command, okay? So you're going to hold, one layer is already selected, so I'm going to hold Control and select the opposing layers. So make sure that they're all selected. Once I've selected all the layers, I'm going to release the Control or Command button. I'm going to right-click, and I'm going to merge those layers. What this has done is created one massive layer with all the butterfly images that I had transformed. At this point, I can now resize this and I can just hit, go to transform and just drag out the image, okay? And then I hit the check. Now this is the image that I have created. It is very similar to the image that is in the assignment. Obviously the butterfly was a little different, okay? <laughs> the important part now is to save your work, file, Save as, save on your computer. You're going to title it to your desktop. We're going to call it mirror, underscore your initials, okay? Make sure it is a type as a PSD. I like to save it to my desktop, okay? And you hit save, okay? And then you can go ahead and turn your assignment in. Um, also, if you are not turning in your assignment right away, just make sure to save it to your desktop. And then also, uh, don't forget to save it to your Google Drive, okay? So you go to your Google Apps and you upload that file from the desktop, okay? That is how we create a mirror image using the transformation, okay? Feel free to ask me any questions if you need to. Okay, thank you very much. See you soon.